strange ad campaigns. Schizo bomb. Number 21, better to be safe than sorry. It's never too late to start planning for a future. Let's face it, getting buried in the ground is so overrated now. It's probably more likely that someone edited this magazine poorly. Yeah, running this kind of propaganda never works well in the end. 20, for the doll lovers. This is an astonishingly creepy doll product. Just in case you accidentally poke one of your doll's eyes out. The big question though, why is it reborn eyeball tool? Whoever gives me the best answer below will get featured in a Schizo Bob video. Hashtag dolls are creepy. Number 19, safety vest. This safety vest ad nails self-deprecating humor. Your car might break down, and that's a bummer. Hmm, I make my show for a well one. I'd never be caught dead in that thing. Number 18, insecure males. Axe dropped this guerrilla marketing campaign to remind people the effects of Axe body spray can have on women. Interestingly enough, Axe's campaign, which has always been aimed at insecure males, they were so good at marketing that the company became associated with insecure males. As this is negative, they've since changed their focus. Hey man, I knew that Axe kid in high school. Yeah. Yeah, bro, I like use it to cover up the smell of my car when I get pulled over. <laughs> Number 17, 99 francs. This film came out in 2007 and was directed by Jan Kunin. In this photo, we see Jean Dujardin in a fake toilet paper ad. Check out this movie. It contemplates the soulless landscape of advertising. Ah, I bet that toilet paper feels like silk. Number 16, gun control is serious. You know, it helps to put things into perspective. This is a photo of children playing with condoms because kids will play with anything, even if it's hidden in your sock drawer. This ad campaign started to go viral in 2014. Man, I only got a Glock in my sock drawer. What's a condom? Number 15, the jail survival kit. This is like home and garden for people who are doing 5 to 10. Man, these kill time. I miss the peanut butter sandwiches the most though. Number 14, okay, gross. Ew, gross. I might never want to sleep with a flight attendant again. This ad for American Airlines came out in 1968. I don't think they realized that adding the hot flight attendant would confuse the situation. American Airlines hopefully fired the guy that cleared this one. Maybe it'd be okay if they said that it was your friend's mom. Number 13. I could never bull here. This ad for dental health insurance turned a bowling alley into the tooth fairy's wildest dream. It has a euro symbol. It looks like this might be a bowling alley in Britain. For a second, I thought it was the bowling alley next to Bob's trailer park. Hey, I got all my pins. Thank you very much. My Uncle Joey's only got a strike, though. Number 12. Sexist ad. Ah, uh, this ad is delightfully sexist. This ad ran in Playboy in 1974. It's an ad for the Weyberg Shoe Company. It's not hard to imagine a few guys coming up with this after a three martini lunch. I would be worried about the guy who wants to keep his lady on the ground watching his shoes though. Listen Bob, don't make fun of the people with the foot fetish. In my country, it's not uncommon to keep her in the position all day long, yeah. Yeah man, I like this ad, I think they nailed it. Number 11, plastic bags kill. Global Action, in the interest of animals, ran this advertising campaign to remind you that every time you get a plastic bag, you might be killing innocent animal lives. This is powerful stuff, but still strange looking. Yeah, something is fouled here. Number 10, bad ad placement. Bingo! I hope the kid in this pic stamped her. Maybe she has one on her lower back as well. Oh man, that's my Aunt Shelly. She's dumber than a golden retriever. Number nine, dumb jeans. The guy who let this ad campaign go through was, who knows? I don't understand what getting a ladder to flash a security camera has to do with being comfortable or cool in one's own jeans, but apparently stupid people have more fun, if you consider this fun, I guess. Man, I had a girlfriend in college who would do this all the time. I would be like, babe, babe, why do you have a ladder in the back of your truck? It's weird. Number eight, the KFC confusion. So here you have Norm MacDonald as the colonel. And after a few weeks of this, you get Jim Gaffigan. Each one is asserting that they are the real colonel. It's getting confusing. But I like to see talented comics getting work. Maybe everyone is just sharing that KFC love. Hey, where else can you buy a giant bucket of grease for that cheap? I don't care if they make Subway guy and colonel. I'd still go. Number seven, out of vogue. Valentino is a clothing and accessory company, and they take some modern pictures like this one. Here we feature what appears to be several aliens dressed in weird ponchos. These come from the same place in China that I was made. Number six, eating Bacon? The pediatric organization, SPRS, ran these ad campaigns. A study by Robert Waterland, an associated professor of pediatrics, found that mothers who had healthy diets would have children that would develop better amenities to diseases or genetic disorders like tumor suppression. Number five, hunger crisis. Who will think about the children? Wow, I guess that pig is doing a noble service. Has anyone else read the Isaiah 6, 6, 17 in the Bible? Yeah, these religious groups are not big on the pig. Dude, I love bacon, man. Hi, man. 
These weren't the baby back ribs I was talking about. Oh, I saw this one and fainted. How horrible. These kids will never be kosher now. Speaking of pigs, you guys remember this ad from the 90s? This ad is clearly supposed to remind people that chicken is not the only thing you can eat. These ad campaigns first started our TVs in 1987 and were run by the National Pork Board. It was developed by the advertising agency Fazel, Jacobs, Kenyon, and Eckhart. Hey, are suey! Suey, suey, suey! Number three, Chicago anti-pregnancy ads. This ad campaign depicts teenage boys like this one dealing with the physical effects of pregnancy. It was aimed at Chicago's extremely high teen pregnancy rate. It does seem a bit creepy, though. How about hand out free condoms all the time? We must cut him open and remove the alien. I saw this in a few movies. Number two, what's the deal with hot chicks eating cheeseburgers? The woman in this Carl's Jr. ad is looking up the barbecue sauce. This ad campaign features gorgeous women eating giant cheeseburgers. I don't think that this chick has ever had a cheeseburger in her whole life. They probably have to do a lot of editing of these vegan girls puking. Besides, it's just confusing. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to eat here. Man, I feel like going to Carl's Jr. all of a sudden. Number one, Paper McEggs. In this ad campaign, McDonald's is trying to say they do breakfast now. I think the egg looks like paper, maybe carbon paper, which is strangely more accurate description of the food. However, never underestimate the global superpower of marketing that is Mickey D's. Man, this American food is an abomination of gastronomy.